Hi, so someone has posted on the VR control forum uh, this little sample of audio, it's a, from a violin, and there's a noise in it which they don't like, and they're asking what the best way is to remove that noise. And I posted a little example I'd done in Audacity. They seem to like it, so I'm going to show how I, how I uh, cleaned up the audio. So this is what we're working with. You can hear there's that little sort of ting sound in the background starts about there and goes through for quite a bit. So that's the sound we want to clean up. So we're going to use the spectral editing tools in Audacity. So the first thing I'm going to do is right click over here and select spectrogram. And I'll show you my settings so that you can follow along. So I'm going to go to preferences and then I'm going to try and find the spectrogram settings if I can remember where they are. Oh, there it is. So those are the settings I'm using to get this appearance of the spectrogram. The other thing we're going to do is set up some shortcut keys for the spectral editing tools. So I'm going to the shortcut key section and uh, actually it's only this one I'll be using, the spectral edit multi-tool, but I have some other setup as well, but just the spectral edit multi-tool, you can set up a shortcut for that one. Okay, so now we're looking at the spectrogram and Let's play it back again. So the sound comes in about here and we can see that right there, there is something suspicious. So that's something to investigate. And this sound we can hear goes across several bands. So we're gonna to have to zoom in and see where else that uh, sound appears. And we can see on this channel, we can see it there as well. So uh, in fact, let's just start by removing this one. So it seems to go to about there. And we can go to Effect, uh, Spectral Tool, Spectral Edit Multi-Tool, and it's going to clean that up. Or we can use that shortcut key I set up, which is uh, uh, one on my numpad. Now, the bandwidth that it's choosing there, I, it's been a while since I set this up, but I believe it's set by um, going to the Spectral Edit Parametric EQ. And I've got to select some audio for this. Let me just do that again. So I'm just going to undo that change. Let's go to Edit, Spectral Tools, Parametric EQ, and then, uh, sorry, set the Gain Reduction here. Let's see, yeah, so that's where you've got to set it, and then that will be the setting that's applied every time you use the Spectral Edit Multi-Tool. Okay, so now when we play it back, let's listen. So it's still there, we can still hear some of it. Um, I'm hearing some of it a bit lower, I think, than that part we removed, but let's zoom in. So I'm going to move my mouse over to this sidebar here, and I'm just going to drag, uh, click and drag down, and we're going to zoom in on this section. So there's something there that looks like maybe we can remove it. So we can change the width of this by clicking and dragging on this dotted line, and we can also move it around by clicking the center line there. So I'm just going to pull it into there. I'm going to press one on my numpad to clean that up a bit. Okay, I'll right click over here, go to reset zoom, and let's listen again. That's sounding pretty good. I'm just gonna turn up my volume just so I can get a better listen. Okay, there's something higher up. I think it's around here, so we'll do the same again. And there's something right there. So I'll hit one. So that seems pretty good. And we can just go through sort of every block of bands and just sort of have a look, see if anything looks suspicious or that there's anything that uh, we think might be a, a problem. I think there's something lower down. That's what I'm hearing. So let's have a look down here. Uh, that bit might be it. Yeah, I think that was what I was hearing. And maybe this bit here as well, right in the base. Yeah, that was it. Okay, so that sounds good. Uh, I think we've pretty much got it. We've taken up quite a chunk here in this uh, base section, so we might want to redo that bit, um, do it a bit more delicately, but 
that shows you the basic principle. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.